Good morning from La Landa, everyone, where unfortunately yesterday's sunshine decided that it was a one-hit wonder and we're back to murky grey. So we're just going to have to make our own sunshine inside the house. You look as though you're struggling to make your own sunshine inside the house. <laughs> so I was already wearing this, but I think I'm going full grandpa. Well, boy, did I speak too soon. Honestly, I came downstairs, made a cup of tea, the next thing I know, the sun's come out. It's not warm, but it's beautiful. So, of course, I'm going for a walk all the way to the chapel to see what's happening there. Bonjour. Et comment allez-vous? Uh, pas trop mal. Non, c'était un bon week-end? Uh, trop court. Oh, oui, mais ils sont toujours trop courts les week-ends. Alors, que se passe-t-il aujourd'hui? Eh ben, on finalise tous les petits trous, les petits rebouchages et le nettoyage dans la foulée. La main est plus sensible que l'œil. Donc euh, on passe la main et dès qu'on sent qu'on n'est pas au même niveau, on, on reprend pour avoir vraiment... Ouais. Parce qu'après, une, une fois qu'on aura mis les couleurs en place, l'éclairage peut trahir euh, nos restaurations. Oui. Donc euh, pour, afin d'éviter ça, on, on peaufine vraiment le travail de rebouchage. Parce que c'est ce qui fait, je dirais, 70% de, de la, la restauration et de la retouche qui va suivre après. Alors ça se fait au toucher Oui, au toucher. Ah oui, ça c'est très le intéressant. Est plus sensible, oui. Et le pied est plus sensible que la main encore. Non, c'est pas possible. Si, si. Donc, euh, quand euh, quand j'étais à mon compte, je faisais des, de la maçonnerie taille de pierre et euh, du dallage. Et une fois qu'on posait le dallage, euh, tout le monde se déchaussait. On était pieds nus et on regardait comme ça. Et on sent les arêtes euh, qui, qui sont plus vives. Waouh, wow, bah ça, vous pouvez, vous pouvez pas le faire euh, sur les murs. Au <rire> moins, je saurais ce qui se passe si je rentre et vous êtes pieds nus en train de, de toucher le, le mur avec les pieds. <rire> Quand il fait plus chaud, peut-être. <rire> Cette zone-là est bien, bien, bien abîmée et euh, on a mis un chauffage pour euh, chauffer un peu et enlever l'humidité parce que là, on est à 50% d'humidité. Ça va déjà mieux parce que ce oui. matin, on était à 85. Ah là là, 85% ce matin. Oui. Ben C'est surprenant qu'il y a du plâtre qui restait du tout, franchement. On ouvre, on chauffe un peu. Oui. De manière à ventiler. L'humidité fait gonfler le plâtre. Et là, on a déjà refixé. Donc, on a mis oui. l'acrylique dilué dans l'eau. De manière à refixer le, le peu qui reste par endroit. Mm -hmm. Seulement, le plâtre se gorge d'humidité, il gonfle. Et du coup, a du mal à adhérer. De l'acétone avec euh, du euh, paraloïde, c'est un fixatif acrylique. Oui. Qu'on va appliquer ce soir, on va faire un petit essai, pour voir si ça fonctionne sur des zones qui sont euh, très très malades, on va dire, pour essayer de stabiliser le foisonnement du plâtre. D'accord. Voilà. Mais de, pour pérenniser le décor et l'ambiance dans, dans la, la chapelle, il faudra euh, travailler sur euh, fluctuation d'air. Euh, et vous que... pensez qu'on devrait peut-être se servir de, de l'hypocoste Oui, peut-être, oui. L'hypocoste, alors, c'est le chauffage qu'on a C'est un chauffage. Euh, oui. L'hypocoste, c'est les chauffages romains pour les thermes. Et en fait, c'est le même système. C'est pas commun, hein. c'est la première fois que j'en vois. Hein. Vous dites ça beaucoup dans cette chapelle. Oui, mais c'est. Euh, après, d'un chantier à l'autre, il y a beaucoup de découvertes. Et oui et on, et on passe notre temps à découvrir euh, des tas de choses, mais. Euh, mais euh, des chauffages comme ça, il euh, n'y a qu'à Notre-Dame où il y en avait un, mais il datait du, du 8e, 9e siècle. Mais euh, au 19e, euh, c'est pas commun. Ouais. Mm -hmm. Et oui, si on peut s'en servir, ce serait merveilleux. Euh, après, euh, au moins rétablir une ventilation, après chauffer. Voilà. Euh, chauffer comme ils le faisaient eux, euh, c'est pas ah, non plus. Euh, ça, c'est certain. pas bien non plus, parce que du coup, on a des pics de température, on passe d'un milieu en hiver où il fait. Euh, 3, 1, voire euh, moins 1 dedans, et vous mettez un chauffage pour arriver à 15 ou 20 degrés, il euh, euh, y a une amplitude thermique, un choc thermique euh, très important, mm. et du coup ça, ça crée d'autres problèmes, donc une condensation qui se fixe sur les, les zones de courant d'air, de convection, et du, du coup c'est là où il y a plus de décor en fait. Alors il faut essayer de trouver une solution qui ventile, mais sans avoir des fluctuations de température. Voilà, pour avoir une température oui. stable. Et Monsieur Siofi est en train de regarder ça aussi. Oui, oui, on avait abordé ce, ce problème à la dernière oui. réunion. Je lui dis, il y a des gros problèmes d'humidité. C'est la source de la dégradation. Donc, si nous on restaure le, le décor et que ces problèmes-là ne sont pas réglés, dans mmh. 20 ans, on aura le, les mêmes problèmes. Ah oui, et ça, ce serait la catastrophe. Ça, c'est, je veux le faire une fois dans ma vie, et puis ce sera pour les personnes qui viennent après moi. Ouais, J'espère que moi aussi. <rire> Elton, alors comment avez-vous commencé dans ce métier, dans la restauration euh, Disons que c'est un métier qui m'a toujours euh, attiré. Euh, avant, je travaillais le marbre. 
Et puis euh, un jour, on s'est rencontrés dans notre ville où on a l'habitude, enfin, où on vit. Et un jour, en discutant avec Benoît, il m'en a parlé de ce qu'il faisait. Oui. Et puis euh, c'est comme ça que ça s'est fait. Ah, vous avez <rire> commencé avec, avec voilà, lui Avec lui, oui. Et vous aimez Oui. <rire> oui, oui, oui. C'est un, un, un boulot qui, qui est vachement passionnant. On ne peut pas travailler à 50%. C'est tellement prenant qu'on ben, donne le meilleur de ce qu'on peut. Et oui, et ce que j'aime bien, c'est que ce n'est jamais la même chose. Chaque lieu est différent. Et, ah oui, oui, oui. Et le vôtre, d'ailleurs, est pas mal. Pas mal. <rire> merci. Je vous en prie. À demain, merci. À demain, à demain. We are so lucky to have Benoit and Elton working on this. They are such perfectionists. And it is looking better minute by minute in the chapel. Just the three of us. We're going to be singing that. Just the three of us. <laughs> You're singing on the inside. <laughs> Everyone's gone. It is just three of us. Even Natty and Amory aren't here today. So should we all just grab whatever we feel like eating tonight? Dry pasta. Dry without, without like a sauce. You mean plain pasta. Oh, wow. wow. I might have toast. What are you going for? Anything that I can grab out of the fridge. <laughs> Greek yogurt. <laughs> yep. yep. He's as exhausted as we are. Taking down in there. Yeah. He's like, I need to sleep. Is this for fun or is this for kitchen? It's definitely for the kitchen. <gasps> Something I ordered personally. That Ooh. You. you will absolutely love that I have this. We need more stackable plastic. I'm, I'm trying to muster excitement about they are this. Dish washable. Oh, that's good. That's very good. It's a lot of and lids. They are the big oh. size. Oh, it's reusable. Size. Yeah, yes. Have three size. And you will add what are they for? Why am I excited? Food prep, obviously. <laughs> Miss on plus. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, now I have everything I need almost. <laughs> <laughs> We've just realized that Philip has never seen the underfloor heating system. I know it's there. I know no, no, where no, it is. I'm going to show you. I would really want to see. I want to show everyone, actually. I think most of you won't have seen it either because it's a couple of years since I showed it. So I'm going to see if we can get to it and if I can, well, actually go down there. This is the old heating system that we're talking about. It's an Ipocosta, that's the old Roman underfloor heating. And in the 19th century, they started putting it back in some buildings. And just underneath this wood, there's a little staircase. But I'll see if I can show you. There we go. Luckily, that wood wasn't too heavy. So you can see there's just a very, very simple little sort of ladder down on the side. And in the wall opposite the ladder, there's a little fireplace just inside the wall. So someone would go down there, stoke the fire, and the smoke and hot air would rise through a series of pipes into a space underneath the flooring of the chapel. So a very, very early, very advanced underfloor heating system. It's yet another thing that makes this chapel unusual and quite rare. It has this extraordinary underfloor heating system. And in fact, in the early stages of looking at how we were going to be doing the restoration, the builders asked, oh, do you want us to just fill all this in so that this hole isn't here anymore? But I said, no, 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 absolutely not. This is a really important part of the history of the chapel. So we will leave it as it is, even though we won't be heating it. And we discussed that with the architect as well. And as Benoit was saying, we don't really want to be heating the chapel in these spikes of temperature and putting lots and lots of heat underneath it on very few occasions, because let's face it, I'm not going to be going down there every day and lighting a fire for the chapel. It just won't happen. But what we hadn't thought at that stage was using this series, this underground series of pipes, to ventilate the chapel rather than to use it to heat it. And that's something that the architect is looking at doing now because we have to add ventilation so that we ensure that the damp problem we have at the moment never recurs in future. Of course, Philip cannot resist this architectural discovery. It's so cool. I'm sorry if the camera's shaking, but I don't want Lancelot to fall in. So I'm holding him and he's decided to start shaking. So now the uh, camera is shaking too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's the top rung. But be careful, that's only the top rung. Oh, you look adorable. Oui, il est allé voir dedans. <laughs> J'aurais dû me le dire. Il va se salir là. J'aurais pu y aller. Non, non, il voulait voir. Parce qu'il n'y est jamais allé. Ah, OK. Bah, moi non plus. <laughs> ah, vous pouvez y aller si vous voulez. <laughs> it's pretty fascinating. So when was the last time you, you were in here? Um, probably a couple of years ago, I think. Gosh, that's the stove. And there's some pipes that have sort of just corroded, I suppose. They've all rusted. And then 
Here, it looks like it used to have a cover on it as well. It looks like an old hinge. I love uh, the idea inside. of getting airflow through there, though. It's really That's cool. quite a good idea, yeah. He probably managed to do that. And I love the brick. I just love the arch. It's, it's very neat, actually, the arch. Lancelot wants to be with you so badly, that's why I'm having to hold him. He oh. would just launch himself after <laughs> you. Uh, this might also be functional at some point as the uh, family vault. I hadn't thought of that. Morbid, Philip. I think the French state would have something to say about that plan, though. Yes. Genius, though it is. On the way back, I've stopped to look at Wedgwood because he's actually got a different coloured plumage. Many of you will remember that one of Wedgwood's siblings was completely white and sadly got sick and didn't make it. But it seems that Wedgwood also is slightly mottled. That's really quite exciting. I wonder how he's going to look when he's fully grown. Look at those lovely little white feathers all dappled. Before going back in, I've come into the greenhouse because if we're going to have plain pasta tonight, I definitely want mine with parsley. And we have an absolutely huge stash of it here. So I'm going to pick lots of this. I'm slightly addicted to parsley, actually. I think the others all think I'm slightly insane. I was just opening all of the posts that arrived earlier and you will not believe what Wendy has sent as an engagement present for me and Philip. Before showing you, I'm just going to remind you what Wendy has sent us in the past. This is a cushion based on the portrait that Wendy made of me a few years ago now. I really love it. It was me in my 18th century costume that I'd made for one of our parties at La Lande. And last year, she sent a portrait of Philip along with a cushion of him. So now the two of us live in the music room. But obviously the family was incomplete. And now on our engagement, Philip, where is the cushion? You love it so much you can't be parted. <laughs> it's too good. It's the cute. It's the best I cushion. I think really captured it. I think he needs that outfit too. He definitely needs that outfit. And I love sort of William Morris. Me too. But I love the chapel in the yeah. background. Oh, that it's just, it's the best cushion. Have you seen, let's see it with the other two. Let's put them on the sofa together. Him in the middle and us flanking him. The family together, <laughs> united in cushion form. It's like Lance the heir to the Lalo Empire. Heir to everything he sees. Well, it's not very much, by the way, what he sees. He's about like 10 centimeters from the ground. But, <laughs> but have you seen his, his clothing is sort of actually like that sort of King Arthur type. Yes. Nice. Yeah, he's definitely wearing his sort of Lord's robes. Yeah. He's a round table now. Lord Lancelot of the Rectangular Table. <laughs> does it have the Lancelot seal of approval? Look at that tail. I think it does. Have you seen it? I'm a Lancelot sandwich. This is... <laughs> Marie did these flowers. They are absolutely beautiful. I recognise the camellias. I planted them when I first arrived at Lalande. They're either side of the old stone stairs. And the daffodils are from the garden? Oh, I see. Yes, I didn't realise there was another colour. So the white ones and the tulips from Jean-Baptiste. Yes. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm borrowing Natty's desk for the day because it's actually quite a lovely place to work. So while she's not here, I'm here and then I can hear Marie and Philip in the kitchen. And I feel like I'm close to everyone whilst I'm working. Marie, you said you were not going to cook I'm and not you're not cooking. supposed to be cooking. I'm this looks cooking. like cooking. Look at that. that. I mean, it looks great. What is it? It pasta day. Look at that. This is for tomorrow. We're also going to try our new pasta press. Oh, can we show it at least? Because I haven't seen it yet. Yes, da, da, da. Ba, ba, ba. I will let the world know. Marie would have been perfectly happy with the silver version. But <laughs> Philip did think that the copper would be a bit more bling in the kitchen. And he was right. Was he, darling? Yeah, very clever man. Aren't we lucky to know such a wonderful man? So lucky. It's so good. I love it. Copper. <laughs> Doesn't matter what colour it is. <laughs> Tomorrow night, big yes. excitement. Oh, yes. We're and what, so what sort of pasta is it going to be? Well, we're we doing ravioli. Oh, I could make some fillings for you if you like. Yay! Yay, oh, together oh. in the kitchen! So we just need to find a rummaged in the fridge and then see what we can fill in. Oh, yeah. Looking okay. forward to tomorrow. Marie's just gone to bed and we're not even doing the pasta because Philip's decided now he's not hungry. And I wish I weren't, but I am. So I've decided to make a trio of sandwiches to be eaten in the bedchamber. In the bedchamber? In the bedchamber. It's a trio of parsley sandwiches. That's the genius part. One saucisson parsley, one pate and parsley, and one avocado and parsley with some olives on the side. How good does that sound? Dinner of kings. It is. Mm. And in bed, I'm going to try and find a really big tray, a little bit like this. 
so that I don't get any crumbs in the bed. And there we have it, rather a purist trio of parsley sandwiches for TV dinner. So even though you're not having any food, you will be having wine. I'm having a liquid dinner. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. I did eat earlier. It's nearly 11. Yeah. So I think I should just have a little drop. <laughs> just drop. a little drop. There we go. Philip, you're not taking that to the bed. That one's for you. <laughs> no, 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 don't you dare. <laughs> I spent the entire evening subtitling everything that happened in the chapel today because it's all so fascinating and I don't want you to miss any of it. I love every development. So I hope you enjoyed the chapel section and I quite enjoy going over it whilst I'm subtitling because it really sinks in there and I hear everything twice. We're going to go up, the three of us. Lancelot, are you ready? Yes, oh, time for so TV. Good. It's been such a quiet day with just us in the chateau. From tomorrow, it's back to lots of people. We've got really exciting people arriving tomorrow. And until tomorrow, Adam. Matthew.